Hey guys, well, ooh, looks scary. My lips are so dry. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have grabbed a cup of tea because I feel like this is gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna be a long one, but it's gonna be a chatty one. I haven't really sat down and spoken to you guys properly in ages. As you guys can probably tell by my skin, I've been struggling mentally. <laughs> Anyone who's a TikTok, TikTok? Anyone who's a TikTok fanatic like me will understand that. I have become addicted to TikTok. I can scroll on that app for hours. I feel like I learn so much. I laugh so much on that app, but it's so dangerous. Cheeky plug, go follow my TikTok. I've only just started really posting like some kind of things on there, um, but it's fun. I like it. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup, kind of what I've been doing every day at the moment, some kind of variety of that because I feel like I don't get it exactly the same every day because I'm not a makeup artist. But yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking about my makeup routine so I thought I'd share that with you guys and just have a little chat and a little catch up because it's time. <laughs> so before I get started, I'm going to put on this, um, so it's the Nabla Viper Lip Plumper. I don't know if it will, oh it does focus. I've got my proper profesh set up today, I'm using my big camera and everything so I hope you guys are proud. But yeah, it's a lip plumper that I got in a Beauty Bay box, actually. It's really good. You guys will see my lips will look moisturised. They'll have a bit more colour. I feel like I look dead at the moment. This weather is killing me and this lockdown is killing me. Um, for those of you guys that aren't in the UK or aren't aware, we're now in our third lockdown. And um, I honestly don't know how much more I can take of this. I hate it here. I hate it here. <laughs> It feels so good, it smells so good, it is very tingly. Just a little warning, in case you do decide to go ahead and get this. I'll leave everything I use linked down below because I'm probably not gonna um, talk too much about what I'm using whilst I chat to you guys. Also, don't judge me, please excuse the state, this is disgusting, but um, I had a little period where I was wearing fake falsies every day and I would use this to Put the glue on and then dip the falsies into the glue so that's what that is there's a bit of hair in there as well but we just will ignore that let me grab my foundation first actually because i'm i'm going to be doing some insta content for this today and i've been using it the last couple of days and i really like it um it's the givenchy prism libre skin caring glow foundation how gorgeous is that packaging i have this in the shade W310, yeah. I think it's a very good match actually, it's pretty much perfect. Let me just tell you guys now, sorry, I just wanted to, I said I wasn't gonna talk about the foundation. Um, this is very, very light coverage, but that's what I want at the moment, because my skin's bad. Well, not bad, I don't know, I feel like it looks better than it is on camera, and it's definitely improved from what it was. It was worse than this. I've just got quite a lot of scarring now, um, not really any new spots, but, I feel like when my skin isn't clear or when my skin's a bit more textured, I prefer to wear something lightweight on my skin so it still looks like skin and then just conceal where the problem areas are. I just feel like it looks a lot more natural than like caking foundation on because I just feel like the light doesn't hit it well and it just kind of intensifies the bad skin. How do I do this? I've forgotten how to do this. Oh my God, my mirror makes me sick. I don't know who, can you see it if I do this? Oh, you can still see it. Oh no. <laughs> Do I get a new mirror? I feel, I feel like I should be polite and get a new mirror. Oops. Okay, I'm using... My life in a nutshell. Do I just, is that great? I'm just gonna do this, it's nasty. I'm gonna use the um, VF, what is this? The Essential Palette because the mirror in here is really nice. And how beautiful is that? For any of you guys that follow Jamie Genevieve, this is her new makeup line, which I haven't actually used yet because I was thinking maybe I could do a full face of one brand makeup look. I mean, that palette is a bit of me. So let me know if that's what you'd like to see. Anyway, back to uh, the chat. Oh, chatty patty's entered the room. The first thing I feel like I need to update you guys on, some of you guys may already know this. If you follow my vlog channel, I've just noticed that my plant is dead, dying. I need to deal with that immediate, immediately. I keep going off on tangents, honestly guys. Um, and I don't mean this to be offensive at all, like genuinely, I think I might have ADD. So I'm actually gonna um, look into getting tested for that. And I don't, I really don't wanna offend anyone by saying that, but I genuinely do. When I look at all the symptoms, I 
t like tick pretty much every box so I just want to see if that can explain some of the some of the things that have been going on with me that I don't really have an explanation for and that don't really make sense and that are kind of uh, preventing me from being able to progress in life as an adult like a normal adult um anyway back to what i was saying if you guys follow my vlog channel then you may already know that i um recently became single and i've been getting so many questions about this on like instagram whenever i do like a q a and stuff like that so i just feel like i need to address it on here just so that you guys know nothing in particular happened i just think sometimes things run their course or they're not you know sometimes people outgrow each other sometimes people grow apart or well, sometimes you just realize that actually what you thought was meant to be for you actually just isn't and that's absolutely fine and i think with breakups i'm just going to conceal anywhere that you can still see some darker marks i think with breakups a lot of the time it's like difficult to accept that something didn't work out the way you had hoped or had expected it to even if you know it's not right for you and i just wanted to say that because i feel like a lot of people have been asking me like how do you get over a breakup like how are you doing so well blah 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 and i think a lot of the time it's just accepting that like what is meant for you will stay i honestly believe that everything happens for a reason and i think that sometimes people are in your life you've probably had this kind of these words before but sometimes people are in your life for a reason sometimes people are in your life for a lesson sometimes people are in life for a season um but you always learn something from it whether that is like learning about yourself and how you are in a relationship learning what you do and don't like in a partner learning that maybe you're not meant to be in a relationship right now everything's a learning curve and there's no point in holding on to something and being like really upset about something that you can't control you just kind of have to accept it as a fact of life if that makes sense it's like this is going to sound a bit morbid but it's like a death and obviously it's harder if you are the person that didn't want the relationship to end um or if you don't have like a mutual kind of understanding when it comes to breaking up or if somebody's you have broken up and somebody's making things difficult for you um i've lost my train of thought Sometimes breakups can literally be like somebody's died and you're mourning the loss of someone because they're not in your life anymore. But I think when somebody dies, you just have to accept it because you know there's not really much you can do. And I sometimes feel like with relationships, that's kind of the, the mindset that you have to have because if you're holding on to something that is out of your control you know you might be missing opportunities and i don't mean like getting into another relationship with someone but you might be missing opportunities and you're you're missing out in your life in general because you're so hung up on something that might never be and i think that's really important to remember in a rela in, in in life i find it so difficult to concentrate on doing my makeup and talking at the same time <laughs> did it just die you just okay i'm back i don't know what happened there but my camera cut off so apologies i don't really know where it cut off but basically i'm happy i've let let go of what is not for me and i just feel so much better obviously i was in a very long relationship prior to the, my last one and i think that kind of taught me everything i need to know about how to kind of deal with a breakup and how not to deal with a breakup i can definitely do like a more in-depth video on that if you guys want although it's not really something i want to dwell on but if it can help you guys let me know and i will do my best to get a video out there for you guys on that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use is Lilash. I get questions about this to this day. Honestly, it's the only lash serum that's ever worked for me. It is absolutely incredible. And you guys will see my eyelashes um, when I put the mascara on, how long they are. And I haven't been using this as consistently as I should recently since my eyelashes got long, which is a problem that I tend to have with everything. My antidepressants, every time I start to feel good, I start forgetting to take them and then I plunge. I need to learn. Okay, I need to learn. I get a lot of questions asking what lashes I'm wearing and the majority of the time it's my lashes and I've been using Lilash. Lash. It does take about like four to six weeks for your lashes to really be like, wow, this is so different. So yeah, I'm a lot happier. I am and I feel like I am coming back into myself. I feel like I kind of lost myself a little bit and my energy wasn't right, my mood wasn't right. And I think sometimes that's just how you know that something is just not right for you. As much as you want it to be, it's just not right. And I feel like I have so much more time and like mental space now and 
personal space as well to do the things that I want to do and feel free and like independent. Honestly, living my best single life, like it's been great. It's been quite a few months now that we've been broken up and um, I, I just feel like I'm coming back into myself a little bit, which is so nice. Not introvert, like I am an introvert, but coming back into myself as in finding myself again. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna use this ColourPop liquid liner. I said I wasn't gonna talk about products, but here we are. It's in a brown color. And I just use it to redefine my little beauty spots because they kind of get covered up by the foundation. By the way, guys, with my brows, I just thought I'd leave it out for the video because it's not like the main focus of my makeup routine. But I also get many questions about my brows. So again, if you guys would like me to do a dedicated video on my kind of brow routine, um, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that. I literally just use soap and some powder. So it's nothing like complicated but um, it's really effective and I always get compliments on my brows, so thank you. If you guys would like a little tutorial, then just let me know. I have all the time in the world to do it now. I don't need to give my attention to anyone else but my dog, which I kind of love. <laughs> what have you guys been watching on Netflix lately? I have watched so many things. I just finished up the Night Stalker, so I love true crime stuff and honestly, that gave me the absolute chills and that doesn't happen often with me but this guy was just prolific like there was no i don't even want to ruin, ruin it for you but the spree that he went on made no sense like it was just insane like absolute insanity so yeah if you guys are into true crime uh then i definitely recommend that because it's wow intense man i think there's only four episodes but yeah it was really good so what do i do next i'm trying to think what i do next in my routine i think i carry on with my face so i'm using the fenty beauty match sticks which are an old favorite that i haven't used in ages for a while for a, for a, <laughs> for a while i was using powders and again like matte cakey skin or powdery skin it just looks so bad on me i feel like it completely changes my face and it completely dries out my skin and i feel like that's partially why my skin broke out but we won't talk about that so the next thing that i've been watching that i've just started getting into is surviving death and oh my god it's so good um ever since i was a kid i've always been i hope you guys can see me maybe i should come closer um i've always been like interested in i was a weird kid okay um, but I've always been interested in the supernatural and like consciousness outside of the body Although I didn't know that that's what it was when I was a kid I've always been interested in like spirituality and like I was obsessed with crystals and stuff like that But I didn't know why but it's always just been something that has been like a part of me And so this show really speaks to me and it's some of the things that happened or that like some of the anecdotes in especially the first episode blew my mind like i don't understand how it's physically possible so if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff like um out of body experiences like when you're having a near-death experience and stuff like that definitely watch this it's so interesting and i'm just really excited that there's like a proper production like properly produced uh show about it because yeah i just find it so interesting and yeah, I'm just glad that it's a thing. <laughs> I think for especially people that are skeptical of that kind of stuff, this really will make you question your beliefs. Like it really will make you question your beliefs. What else have I been watching on Netflix? I watched The Yorkshire Ripper. That was all right. I'm trying to think, there's so many things I've watched. Oh, for my Frenchies, I recently watched, um, what's it called? The Break. And so I don't think it's actually in France. I can't remember where, I think it's Belgium. Belgian I don't and also I don't know if you're not French I don't know if it will be as good to for you I feel like it's very I don't know how to explain this but I feel like it's very French like if you are French you'll understand like you'll just get it it's just so good like it had me guessing right up until the end it's a um, like murder mystery show program and yeah I was just vibing with it I watched two se both seasons in a matter of days and I absolutely love it I would recommend 100% <laughs> okay so I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow and it is literally taking everything in me to not use this palette by the way I've met um, Jamie and her husband Jack the girl whose brand this is for those of you that don't know on a few press trips and I just have to put this out there I just have to say that they are two of the most 
genuine and nicest people I've ever come across. So yeah, they just, yeah, deserve all of the success, honestly. <laughs> this is the Elsie The Minimalist eyeshadow palette. It's really nice, it's just got some very nice neutral tones, like everyday tones, and I love it. Oh my god, I've just realized that I've come back on without my braids. I needed a break, my hair was getting itchy and dirty and fuzzy, and I really could not be bothered <laughs> to sit there for like six hours doing my braids. So I'm just gonna have a little break, let my scalp breathe, and then I probably will go back to my, to my braids because I feel like that's where I feel most me. Like I just love having braids in my hair. Is it recording? Yes, hello, sorry. My um, dad came in to show me something. So I had to stop the video. I can't even remember what I was talking about now. Oh, I've, okay, so I've also been getting a lot of questions about where Nelly, my other dog is, my puppy. <sighs> She's actually living with my ex. Um, he decided to take her. So yeah, that's where she is. I miss her immensely, but it is what it is. And I've got my PJ, so I'm good, you know. I've got him to take care of. I love him so much and yeah that's where Nelly is so I guess maybe you'll see her sometimes we've been on a couple of walks but yeah I, I don't know how, how often we'll see her but yeah that's that's where Nelly is so yeah can we stop asking me now please because I might cry <laughs> oh god I make jokes out of serious situations because I just don't know what else to do also a lot of questions I've been getting are on my hair so many of you guys are still asking me if I'm still using the Brazilian blow dry and the answer to that is a straight no I think it's been about two years maybe a bit longer I think it's been about two years since I last did a Brazilian blow dry on my hair. It was just another thing that I just couldn't be bothered to upkeep. And also, I think the health of my hair when I decided to do the Brazilian blow dry was already not the best. So at the time, I felt like, oh, okay, this is what my hair needs. But when I let my hair grow out from the Brazilian blow dry, I kind of fell in love with my natural hair again. Not that I didn't love my natural hair, but I don't know. It was just kind of, not laziness, but it just felt like so much effort to have to take care of and stuff like that and then when I cut it I was like I can't really do anything with it short unless it's a bit looser or easier to manage um, but my hair is definitely growing I've been slowly slowly like cutting off all of the damaged ends obviously I bleached the top of it not that long ago so that's a whole new journey that I've got to go on with my hair but I just kind of fell back in love with my natural hair and spent the time like really learning how to manage it like I could never, ever, ever do a slick bun like this before. And this isn't even with my usual products because they are sold out everywhere and have been for months. And I ordered like three bottles. It's Kinky Curly, the Not Today leave-in conditioner. I ordered like three bottles months and months ago, like before Christmas, I think from America and they still haven't come and I need to check up on that. So this is a reminder, Tasha, who's editing. <laughs> check on your order oh my god i keep nearly dipping into this palette but yeah it's just really about finding what works for you like you can watch as many videos as you want of um people who you feel like have similar hair to you but it's never gonna work exactly the same for you as it does for them it literally is just about learning what you like what you don't like and kind of the ingredients that your hair vibes with which has taken me a long time but i feel like i'm finally getting there and I've been introduced to like some really amazing brands on the way. For example, I did a job with Purology and they were the ones that bleached like more of the top of my hair, like for that shoot. So I was gifted some shampoo and conditioner and I'd heard about Purology for ages and ages and ages. And I remember Este Lalonde, Lalonde. Oh God, that's rude. I don't mean to be rude. Um, I remember her mentioning Purology and like singing their praises years and years and years ago and i just assumed it would never work for my hair but let me tell you right favorite shampoo and conditioner it's the hydrate range it's in a purple bottle hands down my favorite it gives you slip like no other when i shampoo my hair it doesn't get extremely tangled so i don't lose loads of hair when i'm detangling with the conditioner the conditioner just makes it so easy to detangle a little goes a long way it's also like tingly so it like invigorates your roots and i feel like it stimulates your hair follicles which obviously encourages hair growth and it's just a very pleasant experience <laughs> um, and then another brand that I got was lucky enough to work with um, and was introduced to is Imbue their products are insane as well and I love in particular the leave-in products like the styling products I just think they are so so good so yeah I'll leave all of those links down below as well if you guys are interested because honestly I'm in love and there's also was it Purology as well a, a leave-in spray I can't remember what it's called right now that is insane and it smells delicious and again to detangle my hair 
it is amazing. Um, so it was a very pleasant surprise for those products to just work so, so, so well in my hair. And my hair is like a bit more tricky because I feel like most people with curly hair, they've got softer hair like around the front of their hairlines and stuff and the top and then the back is more either tight or coarse or frizzy. Whereas with me, the sides and the back of my hair, well the sides and the bottom of my hair are a lot more kind of like soft and a bit looser and then the top is a lot more like coily and coarse. So like the front, the top, and then a bit in the back as well, which is a little bit more difficult to mask because obviously that's the part that's framing my face. So yeah, in terms of like how I do my wash and go routine, it might not work for you just as like so many people's didn't work for me, but it is all about learning how to use the products for your hair. So I, I, if you guys want a like wash and go routine or anything like that, let me know because I will do it because I think it can be helpful, especially in terms of products because Sometimes you might not use products in the same way as someone else does, but you might use those products in your own way that you think will work for your hair and it changes the whole game. Oh my God, this tickles so much. <laughs> Obviously on some of my other platforms like Instagram and my vlog channel, I did say that I am now single um, and stuff like that. And a lot of people have also been asking me, like a lot of, I've been getting a lot of questions about the flat situation and stuff like that. I feel like this is a therapy session for me. So thank you guys. I feel like I'm finally ready to talk about it. In all honesty for me, I don't know. Cause the rent is for one person, it's extortionate. And then obviously I've got my dad living here as well. So I've got to cover, you know, food, etc. So life has been on the pricier side at the moment. And I'm just about to find out how much my tax bill is going to be this year, which I'm genuinely shitting my pants about because I'm like, what if, I can't afford it slash what if all my money goes and then I'm stuck struggling to pay this rent. I don't even want to think about it. I've been manifesting and so far it's been good. So I'm going to manifest wealth, health, success and financial stability. <laughs> okay, here's where the magic comes in. Are you guys going to see these lashes? I hope it shows up on camera. I feel like I look so different in real life to how I look on camera. Maybe I just rape myself more than I should. <laughs> Oh gosh, I was gonna. I, there was definitely something else I wanted to talk about, and I've completely forgotten now. By the way, I keep mentioning my vlog channel. If you don't already follow my vlog channel, if you're not already subscribed, then definitely go check it out. And if you're not subscribed here, but you're enjoying this video, then please hit the subscribe button because it will definitely help me out. But yeah, I guess with the flat situation, we'll see. I don't. I really don't want to move again. I really don't. I've moved. I think three times in the last two years. Well, two and a half years, and. I just don't want to do it again. I've got too much stuff, like it's expensive. I'm trying to find somewhere that you actually like that will accept a dog. It's long and then I've got to move with my dad and it's just, I really don't want to move again. I'm happy here, I'm content. I just, I just don't want to do it. So hopefully I won't have to, um, but obviously I'll keep you guys updated and in the loop. I wanted to ask you guys actually, I was mentioning about my vlog channel. I just feel like it might be easier to have everything in one place but then I know that some people don't subscribe for the vlog content, although that's pretty much what I've been doing. I haven't really been that consistent on here, which I promise is changing. Let me know if you'd like my vlogs to be on this channel. I just feel like it would be so much easier. I feel like I gravitate a lot more to vlogs these days and I feel like a lot of people like you guys do as well. So it might just be easier and then I can kind of do a mix of vlogs and main channel videos and mix up the style of my main channel videos and maybe make them a bit more vlog style in some instances. So let me know what you guys think of that because I'm seriously considering it now. Wait, do you see my eyelashes? <laughs> I don't really know if it translates on camera to be fair. I don't think it, uh, I don't think I translate as well on camera. <laughs> Sounds like such a dickhead. <laughs> Oh God. But yeah, man, as happy as I am, it's been difficult times. An update on my grandma as well. Um, so actually I just spoke to my mum today, but let me give you like a little backstory, especially for those of you guys that don't know or didn't watch my last kind of opening up video. A few years ago now, well, wait, let me just do my bottom lashes as well before I carry on. Did I say a few days ago or a few years ago? <gasps> I forgot to contour my nose. I've, I've learned how to contour my nose and I think, I'm, I think I've mastered my nose, which is so difficult to contour. And um, I've had filler in my nose, I think it's been 
I feel like it's been almost three years. Or has it been actually three? It might have been actually three years now. So a lot of it has kind of dissolved. So my nose is a very in-between shape now. <laughs> I think the reason I got it is because it was always so difficult to contour and I just wanted to have a bit more structure. But yeah, anyway, that's besides the point, whatever. So what was I? Oh my God, I've lost my train of thought again. My grandma. A few years ago, my grandma was diagnosed with dementia. And also a few years ago, I went to see her. I went with my ex and it was great. Like she was, I'd say about two years into it at that point. Um, but you know, she hadn't been diagnosed officially um, until like that year or just a few months before that year. But I think we all in the family kind of knew that she had like there was something going on there because she was like super forgetful, like always repeating things, always like misplacing things. <gasps> Look at that little bun nose. <laughs> yeah, she was diagnosed with dementia, I'd say, yeah, a few years ago, I can't remember exactly when. Recently, in like the last month and a half, it's been getting pretty bad. She, she was admitted to hospital because she basically didn't eat or drink anything for like four or five days. Um, so obviously she needed healthcare and stuff. And um, yeah, it was a very like stressful time for the whole family. Her and my granddad have been living together for years and years and years. So it was very difficult for him as well. And like I struck, like it, it I'm worried about him as well. Um, so anyway, she was admitted to hospital. And then a few weeks later, she was diagnosed with COVID. Thankfully, like, I'm so grateful that she didn't really have any symptoms, like she was okay and she survived it. After that, recently, so basically she's been like roaming the hallways and I don't understand why that's been happening, like how the staff are letting that happen. I don't feel like they're really doing their job properly because she ended up falling and breaking her wrist and, and fracturing her shin, I think, which really makes me angry because I'm just like, you have one job, like why is this happening to my grandma, you know? But yeah, so that's something else that's been playing on my mind heavy and stressing me out and my heart goes out to anyone out there with any family member or loved one who is going through anything because it's so difficult, especially right now. Like the most frustrating thing for me is that I can't just get on a plane and go and see her. Even if I could get on a plane, which at one point I could have before like the third lockdown, I wouldn't have been allowed into the hospital because of Corona. So um, it's very frustrating because I haven't seen my grandma for, I feel like it's been about two years I haven't seen her. And obviously her, her health in terms of like dementia has deteriorated massively. And I'm just scared that I won't be able to see her again. So that's kind of terrifying. So that's something else that I've been trying to deal with and like being stuck in a lockdown doesn't help. Like obviously I have the flat, but I'm not living on my own. So I don't feel as free in my flat. So I've been spending a lot of time in here in my room, still on the bed on the floor. I've been sleeping on my bed for like a year and a half on the floor now. But thankfully at the end of this month, I should be getting a new bed, which I'm so excited about. But yeah, it's just been a struggle thinking of my nan being in the position she's in and like my granddad having to deal with that and like feel all the pain and hurt and none of us being able to be around him. But yeah, I spoke to my mum today and my nan has finally been moved from the hospital into a care home, which definitely makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, I just really hope that I'll be able to go to France soon. I hope this, this business is over soon because it's very, frustrating and I just would like to see my grandma. Wow, that got a little bit deep, didn't it? I found my perfect lip combo, although I feel like Jamie's makeup line is also maybe gonna change that because she sent two lip liners and a lipstick and beautiful. Spot on for like the kind of lip that I like to have. Oh my God, I need to get curtains because people keep looking out their window at me and this is so, it's so awkward. I'm basically at the end of the video now, so I'm going to stop talking before I end up going off on a tangent about something else. But I just hope that you guys are doing okay. And like, I want you to know that, why am I dribbling? I want you guys to know that if you're strugg struggling mentally, <laughs> Um, if you guys are having a really difficult time with it, like you're not alone. I am finding it so difficult, even without the struggles of like a relationship that isn't really functioning as it should be. Um, I'm still finding it really difficult. Like I miss my friends so, so much. I miss my family. Like I wanna see my mum. I'm getting cabin fever. I feel like I'm trapped. There's been a few days where it's been like literally like one degree. I've literally just spent like three hours outside of here because there's been a bit of sun and I just need, 
I just need that. <laughs> wow, well, if I'm crazy, don't I? But I just needed it. And that's not something I would do. I'm not a fan of the cold, but I just needed to be outside. And I think it's really important to take the time that you need for yourself if you are struggling mentally, because if you don't, you're just gonna lose it. And I've been this close <laughs> so many times. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so another favorite of mine has been the Victoria Beckham Posh Lipstick in the shade Fringe. It's like this beautiful brown tone and we know I love brown lipsticks. It is stunning. It's like a lovely buildable color so you can have it a bit more sheer or have it quite opaque. It's very moisturizing. We love. And then on top of that, I love, this is my favorite, is the NARS Orgasm Lip Oil, oil infused lip tint in the shade Orgasm, that's the one. It's just so pretty. I didn't think I'd like it because it looks so pink when you look at the bottle, but it's just beautiful. I think I'm pretty much out though, so I'm gonna have to make a little cheeky order, but I'm gonna wait until I pay my tax bill because, ooh, child, I need to calm down. <laughs> but yeah, this is my makeup routine. I do feel like I look a little bit shiny on camera, but I feel like it looks very nice in real life, like very natural in terms of the skin, very glowy, very healthy. Because as we saw at the beginning of the video, my skin is nowhere near this at the moment. So I'm glad that I can kind of camouflage. <laughs> but yeah, I sorry this was like such a rambly, like random ass chatty video, but I thought I would just come down and chat with you guys and have like a real talk, like one-to-one -one chat with you guys and update you and let you know what's been going on and just show you guys that I am here for you. And if you want to chat i have been making a point of reply replying to like as much as i can on instagram my last video was my what i eat in a day i think i i think i think i've replied to everyone on there as well i just really miss the community and i miss interacting with you guys like you guys are my therapy and i hope that in return i can do that for you so yeah <laughs> i'm getting really uncomfortable why am i like this but yeah this is the makeup look I hope you like it. This is pretty much what I do every day at the moment. The only thing I change up sometimes is the foundation, but since I've started using this Givenchy one, I, I don't know, I'm really into it. It's just really nice and lightweight and doesn't feel all cakey and nasty on the skin. This isn't an ad by the way, I just really like it. And I had to use it today because I'm gonna do a post for them. But yeah, please let me know if you'd like me to do more kind of chatty videos like this, or if there's particular topics that you'd like me to speak more on because I'm really, I want to share more of myself with you guys and I don't know, I just want to share a different side of myself. I don't, I'm not always, I don't always just want to sit and tell you like I got these clothes from here, aren't they like nice, go buy them. Like I'm getting old, do you know what I mean? I'm going to be 30 this, this year, I was going to say next year, but I'm going to be 30 this year. And yeah, I just feel like there's so much more to me that you guys don't see. And obviously I, I could, I don't know, choose to put that out there, but I've been scared too and I just feel like fuck the fear like i'm so over being scared of things now i don't know if it comes with the ter territory of being basically 30 um and just kind of not giving a fuck anymore or i don't know stepping into my own truth and being happy with who i am or whatever but i just feel like i want to share more of who i am with you guys and more of what i have to give so yes let me know if there's any kind of like like girl chat videos like topics that you're are a bit taboo that you can't really have a conversation with with anyone in your life things like that like even even like sex like obviously relationships anything just ask your questions i might do like a little question box on instagram as well so that you guys can ask me on there so be sure to follow my instagram it's linked down below but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry if i was just talking a load of rubbish but I just needed to get some things off my chest and answer a few of your very commonly asked questions. I feel like maybe I didn't actually talk about that many things. Oh my God, also excuse my nails, I need to paint them. But yeah, I'm very excited to be back. I feel so much more comfortable. Like I don't know if you guys can tell from this video, I just feel like so much more zen. I've been meditating, I've been drinking my water. I've been working out for the last three days. I've been waking up at like six every morning. I've been doing the Chrissy Seela tone i hope that's how you pronounce it chrissy cella she's got a youtube channel she's amazing but i've been doing her tone and sculpt workouts on her app and today is the first day that it didn't absolutely kill me <laughs> but i feel so good um so i definitely want to do like more workout content and stuff like that as well i'm hoping for a body transformation because i really want to get back into it like it just makes me feel so good and then obviously you get the added benefits of your body changing and just looking strong and like 
insane obviously i want to gain some weight as well but i just there's so many different things that i want to share with you guys and i want to know what you guys want to learn more about from me like what what you see that i'm interested in that you might be interested in also so that we can share because i think that's what this whole thing is all about thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you very soon in my next video until next time bye Mwah.